Hello everybody out there, this is Crexo in the next episode of the modded let's play of Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. Um, as people may or may not have recalled, I spent the first episode just running around for no reason, being absolutely wasting my time, really. Uh, that's what happens when you're curious and bored and you just click on things and why can't I drag this ball away? Seems odd. What? Eh? I can't... Oh. See, this is what Skyrim has done to me. I thought you just pressed the button and you dragged it around, but it's changed. It's changed now, because I've gone back in the series. But uh, yes, as we recall, I had come to the inn. I'd ha I've just had a lovely night's sleep. It should be the next day. Yeah. Uh, I, I s oh. He's locked me in! <laughs> He's locked me in my room! Oh, the... What, what what kind of inn does that? <laughs> like, Alright, well, no, I know one inn. <laughs> if anyone's ever played Call of Cthulhu. That, that's the one inn where you want to lock your door at night. Because otherwise, it's not going to go well for you. But oh well, gives me a chance to practice my lockpicking, I guess. That, that's a very, you know, not very good reason really <laughs> to lock me in, but okay. Thank you, sir, for locking me in. Um, I think I'm going to settle down and have myself some breakfast. Thank you, you horrible innkeeper. But yes, um, probably best to... Oh, I'm on a... he's on the healthy food now, he's correct, so, you know, because... Gotta keep in shape and gotta keep healthy. Um... Yes, what was I going to say? <laughs> yeah, that was right. So, last episode, I wasted my time, I just ran around a lot, and did nothing really, <laughs> except stole a lot of things from people. So now, I wanted to go see how much a boat to the Imperial City was, is what I wanted to do. Um, oh yes, that's right, there was an Argonian as well, there was an Argonian... You! You said you buy things. Do you? You said okay. I buy any and all items. Let's follow him for a bit, ladies and gentlemen, and see if he goes to a, a store. Oh, so this is the pirate ship he was talking How about, the do? Sea Queen. Let's go ahead. Oh, stop talking with each other. I've... I want to buy... I want to sell you things. Because oh, hmm. he sounds like he deals in stolen you. goods from the sounds of things. Because he says, What's I buy any and all you? things. If I can sell him stolen they say stuff... Of wizards ah, they're all talking. If I can sell him stolen stuff, I will not have to uh, charter a boat. Oh, is he going to the same place I was going to go? Ah, that's interesting. Well, that, that works. I. Oh. Mm. Mm, is this not open yet? A little shipping company. Let's make it ten and see if, uh, see if the stores are open. Yeah, there we go. So, let's, let's, <laughs> fingers crossed, <laughs> so I don't have to take on a proper job. Oh, you've got nice stuff in here. Oh, these are pretty cool, ships and bottles and all sorts. Ooh, that's a nice painting you got there. Oh, ah, oh, he's got a safe. <laughs> I didn't know that. Um, nice map there. What's that? Anvil Harp expansion. Right. Welcome, welcome. Aha! I don't know what you're talking about. I don't buy or sell things. Yes, you do! Certainly. He's already 88. What? Ah, leaving Anvil. Where are you headed? Oh, Braville also does. Mm, interesting. It's the Imperial City. I don't like the Imperial City. Too dry, too crowded. It will cost 200 gold to sell there and take about 18 hours. Actually, I've changed my mind. What? Don't waste my time. Do you have a ship for sale? Yes. Da, 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 da. I don't have the money. Some more money. I buy any and all goods. Why won't you sell me stuff? What is... Wait. It, uh. Ugh. Goodbye. You know what? I'm going to come back tonight and I'm going to rob you. And it's going to be your fault for wasting my time. You know what? I'm going to start robbing you right now. You wonder where all your silverware went. I took it. Yeah, that's right. You're wondering where all your tableware dinner set went? 
I can tell you where it went. It's in my pockets right now. Can you hear that jangling? That's the sound of all your silverware in my pockets. You who does not sell me things when they tell me you buy and sell things. Hey. Hmm. <sighs> in fact, you know what? Why wait till tonight? Oh, never mind. I was going to try and jump down and rob his safe before he got the opportunity to come back down. But he's pretty quick. Ah! I'm usually... I'm going to jinx myself in saying this. I'm actually usually a lot worse... <laughs> there you go. I'm actually usually a lot worse in these lockpicking minigames. But last episode, I actually did really well. Uh, but I'm usually terrible at them. So, apparently me talking while I'm lockpicking is a way for me to um somehow calm my nerves and somehow pick the lock better come on don't fail on me now yay oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> i mean splendid yes absolutely splendid <laughs> uh, it's been lovely talking to you, C-Scale. <laughs> I have a... I've got... I've just got some place... You know, I just realised I left laundry on fire, so I've got to go do some stuff. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy right now. I've just... You know, I'm just, I, I was so happy then. I was like, I've got so much money. And I've just realized like, I still don't have any place to sell anything. So I can't actually sell anything. Why didn't that other Dunmer say he oversees this warehouse and he buys things and yet it's illegal for me to go in here. Cheap wine, cloth. Not exactly anything exciting. Oh, someone definitely lives in here. And I'm going to steal his potato! <laughs> the most devilish crime. Oh, could I get out through that window? That'd be kind of fun. No. Yeah, that's right. Potato Girl is crying right now. She is in tears because I have stolen that man's only potato. <laughs> This is what it means to be pure evil, by the way. When I say being evil for evil's sake, and my character's not that, that's what it means, to steal a man's potato. Can I get in here? No. Oh, darn. Ah, no. Ah. Uh, I was gonna say, I've trapped myself in the harbor again. But actually, it's easy to get out. Ah, Crexo, I am thinking that I need to go and get an actual job. It's horrifying, I know, but it's the only thing I can think of <laughs> for me to actually make any money here. So, I'm looking for a job now, because otherwise I'm, I'm never going to be able to leave. I do not want to set out from the city on foot. A horse is definitely something that is uh, required. <laughs> Weren't you sat here yesterday, lady? Do you have nothing better to do than Hello, sit near the message board? How would you like to get my husband Gogan out of hot water? Uh, what? <laughs> um, if you're gonna pay me for this, then our fates have aligned. If not, I'm going to come back and kill you. Believe me, he'll need all the help he can get to worm his way out of this one. To think he'd fall for the gang's scheme, ugh, I could kill him. I can do I'm that. sorry. I'm rambling, and you look confused. Really? Let me explain. Uh, yes, please explain. The women in the gang use their wiles to lure men out to some remote location and rob them blind. It's been going on for some time now. Right. The city guard hasn't done very much about it, because frankly, the men who are robbed are so embarrassed, they don't want to report it. Take, for example, that good-for-nothing husband of mine, Gogan. He cared more about their charms than my own. That... Oh, men, eh? Am, am I right, fe am I right, fellas? Am I right? Men. We are terrible. We are absolutely awful. Please. I like it here. People are very friendly. 
much nicer than in the Imperial City. Yeah, they asked strangers to help out with their marriage problems. When Gargan was, um, with the women, they took something quite valuable from him. <laughs> no, it's not what you're thinking. They didn't he take his He was carrying a precious family heirloom with him when he was lured out to their lair. It was a small ring given to him on our wedding day. Well, he stole his wedding ring. <laughs> the ring belonged to my mother and has been in the family for generations. I'm willing to give you all the money I have to get it back. 100 gold. You just said the magic Can word. Can you help us? Or magic phrase. Yes, because I'm a good person and of course I will help your marriage. And then I will get paid. Thank you. I'm afraid I can't offer you much help, but I'll do what I can. Right, so where are the guys? All I can tell you is that the best place to start is at the Flowing Bowl. It's a tavern located outside the city walls near the waterfront. Oh, that Gogan place. may be able to give you more information beyond that. That that lovely guy. <laughs> that the lovely man, Fainlorn, or was it Mainlorn? Who? Has to offer. Always be on your guard. Really? I'd have thought the Pirate Inn would have been that description, really. But, uh, yeah. Hmm. The place where the man would not give me a bed for the night for no reason. He, was, he just didn't want to give me a room. He just didn't want to give me a room. Hmm. Fighters Guild. Also an option. Also an option. But I think I should probably finish what I'm doing first before I, uh, do that. So where can I find Gogan? Grogan. Grogan? Gogan? Wait, where can I find her husband? Gogan. Ah, uh, it's not giving me directions to him. Ah, oh, well. Well... Either way, I know where the flowing ball is. Already been there. Already scouted it. Didn't steal anything, because there was nothing worth stealing. Oh no, it's directing me towards Gogan. Okay. Sorry to intrude upon you. Oh. This thing is locked. How Go talk to my husband. He's inside our locked house. Oh, you go away. I'm trying to break into a house so I can repair a man's marriage. As best I can. Eh. How do you do? Ah, oh, I've got Rainier's guard over hole. Hello. Didn't think of this. They're patrolling more. Let's They'll also, if they see me sneaking, they're gonna start following me. <laughs> Cause they're just like, why is he sneaking? Ah. This is annoying. I need a Oh, another house. Leon Kukukukuk's house. I need to get in, but I can't, because the bloody woman stood there. What's your story? I think we're in Septon on this area. Oh, How yeah. goes it? It goes fine. Now go away. They say that when you murder someone, the Dark Brotherhood... Stop! <laughs> I know I look suspicious, but I'm doing this for a good reason. Good to know. Ah. Mm. Oh, you know what? Screw this. I know this is cheating. I don't care. It, this is stupid for her to send me to a house that's locked. So it makes much more sense to do this. Yeah. For the love of a What do you want? Yeah, what I want to do is talk to you because you're an idiot. See, my wife couldn't keep a big mouth shut. Oh, that, that'll improve the marriage. Yes, it's true. I lost the family ring to those sirens. I'm ashamed about the whole incident, but not ashamed enough to ask for your help. I was sitting in the flowing bowl when the most fetching Nord woman you've ever seen walked in with an equally attractive Imperial woman following. After we exchanged words, I followed them out to a farmhouse. Inside, they asked me to remove my clothes and items. Well, I did. And then suddenly they brandished weapons and robbed me. They sent me away with barely a stitch of clothing. Harlots. Just please help me get that ring back. I want to save what's left of my marriage. No offense, sir, but you both cheated on your wife and lost her mother's ring in the process. I do not think that even if I retrieve this ring, your marriage is safe. I'm merely a man. How could I resist? What kind of excuse what is that? I've gotten myself into. I'm merely a man. I was like, so am I. Doesn't mean I'm going to top into the bed of the next woman I see. Now, I should go to the flowing bowl, although they're probably not going to come out until night anyway. 
Logic dictates that the hunters don't come out till after dark. But um, if I'm going to be taking on a gang of thieves, I really need more than a dagger and a bow. So um, let's hope Morvin Pacemaker. Oh, it's oh cool. hello. Jeez, uh, what's your problem? Varel Morvane. Been making weapons and arms here in Anvil for 30 years. People say I do good work, and I don't aim to argue with them. Well, good to know. Um, what can you tell me about Anvil, good sir? Been here 30 years, and I expect I'll last another 10 or so. When I'm gone, God's willing, my apprentice, Enelroth, will tend the smithy. Well, uh, that's good for him. Um, Let's yes. do business. Oh, I was just going, oh my god, Elvin! It's because of the overhaul I have in that removes how uh, how the uh, scaling system works. Now you can encounter terrible things at low levels, and thus you can buy good things at uh, low levels as well. Oh, you know what? Instead of coming up to here and asking him for stuff, considering I have barely anything anyway. Have a look around. You won't find better prices in all Tamri. I don't want that anyway. Get you drive a hard bargain. Really? Really? I drive a hard bargain? <laughs> no, I do not. Take what stuff I <laughs> that's all I had that was legal. Up. Goodbye. Let me just have a look at my inventory here. Eh <laughs> everything I have is stolen. Uh I really hope I don't get arrested. <laughs> So that plain and simple, I really hope I don't get arrested. So let's see, you've got fine steel cutlasses. You've got really nice stuff in here. Afternoon. What's going but on? But a much simpler way to do this would be to go join the Fighters Guild. Oh, mouse. Um, would be to go join the Fighters Guild because then <laughs> Crexo had a sudden urge to stare at the sky. Would be because then I can steal well, I can't steal. I can borrow their equipment. How are you? For free and effectively. What can I do for you? Looking for some work? If so, the Fighters Guild can always use able-bodied new members. I am an able-bodied new member, sir. I would like to join your Fighters Guild. Tell me about it. I love being in the Guild. There's money to be made. If you'd like to join up, let me know. I am currently in the search of coins, so yes, that would be very helpful. Thank you. The Fighters Guild is always looking for new members. If you've got a clean record and don't have a bounty on your head, we may be able to use you. Well, Are you interested in joining? Yes, sign me up. Fine. You are now <laughs> Fine. an associate in the Fighters Guild. For contracts, speak either with me or with Burz Grokash in Chadenhall. Good luck to you. Really? Either talk to me or this person miles away in another city? That's... Uh... Take care. Anyway. Neither of those are really my thing. Oh, wait, am I allowed to legally take things? Guild storage. Whoa! Guild storage policy. Hmm, interesting. Is this new? I don't remember this before. We're sick of the town loafers leaving their stuff all over the place. Use this storage and keep your kit neat. If you leave random garbage around the guild hall, we'll melt it down into something useful or give it to some kid in town. There are supplies here for you to use, but don't even think about selling it. This gear saves lives in the field. We've left some repair supplies to keep your armor free of rust and your blade sharp. Don't be lazy. Our guild porter should only be using his valuable time to repair items that need special work done. Now get back to work. So can I store stuff in here? Because that would be useful for me putting away all my um, st uh, stuff I have. Because it's not stolen. I'm going to walk out and walk back in and see if the stuff becomes legal to take. Because I thought you could. No, it still counts as stolen. What the heck, Fighters Guild? Ah, oh, that's annoying. How do you do? But I can take their plates and random rubbish, but I can't take a weapon. That seems kind of silly. Oh, someone's got to have a weapon somewhere. Storage chest. Oh, I want to put my stuff in there just to like, put it away, but I don't want to risk it disappearing if I'm wrong. Ah, <sighs> well, I'll search here for weapons and... <laughs>